Hi guys, this is Steve Good at the Scroll Saw Workshop. Please visit my blog at www.scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com where you can find uh, free patterns and video tutorials about the scroll saw. want to do another uh, Corel Draw pattern making tutorial tonight and what I want to talk about is creating uh, text on a curve. Uh, in the example here on the screen I've made a small mini clock and you can see the text follows the top of the the clock and it says happy anniversary and I had an email the other night and someone asked how to make this happen in Corel Draw so I thought I would take a minute to show you guys tonight so I'm gonna move on to the next page here and what I'll do is we'll try to recreate this pattern or at least part of it the parts that matter and show you how to do this I'm gonna go to my scrapbook and just to make this tutorial a little quicker I'm just gonna pull out a scrapbook uh, mini clock that I already have designed and this is fairly easy uh, we've done things like this in earlier videos so I'm not going to go into creating this uh, clock right here but I am going to show you how to put the text on the curve okay the first thing we need to do is set up our font and in this case I've got the Arial black selected and that'll work and I'm going to do a font size of let's say 48 it may not be exactly the size we want but we'll start there now if I go over here and click on my text tool you can see as I move the pointer back onto the screen, I have the uh, letter A underneath the pointer, which means I have the text tool selected. And you'll notice that as I come to the curve, when I get the pointer right on the curve, that letter A will change to a letter A with a uh, curve underneath it. And that means if we click our mouse, point, mouse pointer or mouse button at that point, we can begin typing text on that curve. So I'm going to go ahead and click and you can see I now have my uh, text cursor on the screen and I'm going to go ahead and type in the words we want at the top of this clock and we'll say we like that, that looks fine, the size is about right, it might be a little small but uh, for this clock I think we'll be okay there and now the next things we want to do, if we were just to go ahead, well let me just go ahead and do it. I want to go ahead and take this uh, text that we have selected and I'm going to go up to um, where I want to be, uh, arrange and convert to curves. And that will convert that text uh, away from text and create curves out of it so we can weld it to the clock. At this point, if I were to select all these and try to weld them together up here using my weld tool, you would see that we have lines underneath a lot of the letters where the letters and the clock didn't overlap very well. So we want to eliminate that uh, so the pattern will be easier to cut. So I'm going to back up here and I'm back now to where I have the text selected again. And you'll notice with that text selected up here I have the distance from path and the horizontal offset that I can use to adjust this text. Now I'm going to start out with the uh, um, horizontal offset because you might need that also. If I click on this you'll see that the text begins to rotate around the circle and depending on what kind of curve you have this setting on you know that can be important for you to get it arranged just like you like it. So with that tool you have the ability to move the text around the circle. The um, distance from path is just what it says. As we adjust that the distance that the text is from the path will be changed and in this case I'm moving it away from the circle which is not what we want. We actually want it to overlap the circle a little bit so I can bring it down there it's right back on the line and if I go to there it's overlapping a little bit. Now we might have it overlapping a little bit too much but you can go in and type in the characters to get it just where you want it. Now if I go to arrange and convert that text to curves when I use my pick tool and surround them all and click on my weld button you can see now we have exactly what we were looking for we have the text arranged around the circle and we have a nice pattern that we could cut out now from that point you know you can simply add whatever design you want to the clock and uh, cut it out and you're ready to go so you can see it's a very simple process you can also use the same technique on any curve so if your pattern you know had a curve say something like this in it and you wanted text to follow that curve you can do the same thing you just take your mouse pointer put it till the uh, uh, curve shows up underneath the letter A and then you can type
and you can see I ran out of curve there but you get the idea so you can do some pretty fancy uh, patterns following the curve uh, I'll show you one thing that's uh, kind of interesting and fun to do and it would make a heck of a project to cut out someday if I go to the spiral tool and I draw a spiral out on the screen and let's say we don't want that many curves because that's a little bit too much let's see how do I change this uh, whoops didn't want that now what I could do and I don't have this set up exactly like what I want it to be uh, but you'll I think get the idea I can't remember right off the top of my head how to change these curves oh I just don't think I have it selected let me select this and well I can't remember how to do it but anyway you can tell now that I could go to my text and go to the curve and if I had this a little bigger where you could see it uh, we could actually type around that curve and I'm doing a terrible job of showing the example of what I'm trying to do there uh, it's just typing all on top of itself but you get the idea if I had made that uh, a little bit bigger uh, you could see that we could type around that curve and so we could do some really unusual things so just a bad example but anyway an, an example of how this text on a curve does work so there's our little mini clock and uh, you can see how easy that was to make and it gives you the chance to customize these little mini clocks and uh, they seem to be uh, pretty well received by people when I give them to them. They like them, especially if you put their name on it or uh, you know a special birthday date or something like that. Uh, they seem to work out pretty good. Okay, hope you like this video and uh, please join me at the Scroll Saw Workshop at www.scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com. Everybody have a good night.